iPhones are being used as musical instruments in a first-of-its-kind class at the University of Michigan. Okay, so I can actually play this like a whistle now. Students are creating new instruments with the phone's built-in sensors. They're also composing and even conducting. It is taught by George Essel, an assistant professor who was involved in the development of Ocarina, a popular iPhone app that essentially turns the phone into an ancient flute-like instrument. So they learn how to program the iPhone, they learn how to design their own instruments, they learn how to think about and write performances for these instruments, and then they learn, learn to actually get on stage and, and, and show it to people. The question is how can we build new forms of music performance, and the mobile phone is a very nice platform to explore this. The iPhone has a multi-touch screen, uh, there's accelerometers in there, there's a compass in there, there's GPS, there's wireless sensing. And we take the signals that these sensors give us and send them into some sound generating algorithm. And that algorithm then we send to the speaker. An iPhone can create any sound that you can imagine. So we're not tethered to the physics of what traditional instruments are, but we can do much more interesting, weird, unusual things. In order to come up with a creative piece, you may have to engage with the technology for it, but in order to make technology interesting, you also have to engage with what is the musicality of the problem. We're trying to make the students really good instrument builders, but also make them really good performers. In class, we actually use an environment that allows us to rapidly pr prototype mobile phone instruments, and I can actually just pick a sensor, so I'm gonna pick the accelerometer axis, and put that into a sine oscillator and send that into the loudspeaker. And now if I tilt the phone, it actually plays pitches. I can just decide, okay, I don't like that particular axis, let me pick another axis. Now I can use this axis here. But we can use any sensor that we want. We can use, say, uh, the built-in compass. Um, so now I turn it like this. The end goal of the class is to do uh, a concert for a live audience of people. And I, I think that's a really cool goal. We're like all working towards making pieces that we can play together and maybe by ourselves that we can do at that concert. And it will be a very unique sort of performance. Uh, mobile phone ensembles are not all that common. We'll each have, as you saw, the, the wrist speakers and be able to use the devices in really unique ways to produce sound and fill a room with sound. It's kind of difficult to make a comparison between traditional musical instruments and emerging instruments like the iPhone. As best I know, this is the first class of its kind, but there are also other universities that are interested in this area, and so I know Stanford University is going to offer a class like this in winter 2010, and I'm sure other universities will also follow this kind of model because it's a really hot and growing area to use iPhones and mobile phones for artistic expression. There's going to be a final class concert uh, on December 9th where uh, all the students in class are going to come on stage and play their pieces. And it's public and open, so anybody who's interested can come by.